Ladies and gentlemen, Happy New Year to you and yours. We hope you're eating hog jowl and black eyed peas or doing whatever it is that you want to do. Um, so today's episode is strawberry wine. We recorded this before Christmas in Nashville in the condo the weekend we were recording our comedy specials and uh, we did it live. We were very drunk. I don't remember a lot of it. So the teaser today is very different. This is Strawberry Wine. What a great song to start your year off with or in your year with. It's by Dina Carter. I think it was 95, but I can't really remember right now, and I don't have my notes in front of me. You're going to enjoy this episode, um, I think, or maybe it's going to offend you, because, again, we were very drunk. Bubba Shout the Podcast, and that's right, a show about country. All right, gentlemen. First, the facts. Strawberry Wine is a song that was written by Matreka Berg Didn't say that and Gary Harrison and recorded by Dina Carter. It was released in 96. It was her debut single. She came out the gate from her album, Did I Shave My Legs for This? A, an oft-requested song for Bubba Shot the Podcast. Um, it was her first number one hit on the U.S. Billboard Country Singles Charts, and it is a banger. It is four minutes and 51 seconds, which is a departure for the 90s, in my opinion. And for sure. That especially was a three-minute situation. Especially with what we've been listening to so far. I, th- I think I'm saying it right. Actually, I think it's Matricia. Matricia Maria Berg. Is an American country music singer and songwriter. Just because I that's that name, you know, it's like it throws you off. She's written hits for T.G. Shepard, Karen Brooks, Trisha Yearwood, Patty Loveless, Kenny Chesney. She's in the mm. Songwriters Hall of Fame. I think this is our first woman songwriter, other than Bobby, uh, not Bobby Joe Gentry, the person who wrote Fancy. Yeah, but she wrote it for herself. Corey? I don't remember. I can't. Oh, Lord. Isn't it? Isn't we're, we're, it we're not a good look for the podcast right now. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to lie. I was just like, oh, fuck. Well. It, it ain't who you it ain't who you say. It ain't Bobby Joe. No, I think. Bo- is it Bobby Joe Gentry? Or is Bobby Joe Gentry a song by her? Well, we're finna find out. It's Bobby out. Joe Gentry. I'll be honest yeah, it's with Bobby you. Gentry. Yeah, it Bobby Gentry. Yeah, Bobby Gentry. Okay. <laughs> sure. See, you fucked me up by saying that it wasn't that. For some reason, which, I thought that was the name of one of her songs, too. I don't know. I mean, it's saying, there's probably at least one country song called Bobby Joe Gentry, I guess. But. There's, uh, Bob, there's a, there is a Joe Diffie song where he says, Norma, Bobby, Gina, Ryan, it no. was Bobby that Joe Gentry in the, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. No, well, yeah. Anyway, Norma Jean Riley, to, that's a future Norma song Jean. to cover for sure. Absolutely. Norma Jean Riley's going to marry. I thought marry it always said me. Norma Jean Riley. Anyway, let's talk about this banger because I don't want to get off into too much of a tangent because we have a lot to cover. This song is long. It is rad. It could be a crime. There's a lot going on here. Uh, oh shit, a crime? No I do know. It. I've never oh, thought about it like that. But there's a it lot is. of statutory shit going on in the night. Ah, yeah, that's but true. I don't but think I this think is it's one of okay. Them. I think in every state it's fine. Like that, and I was thinking about. <laughs> and I'm certain every state this song was set in. It was fine. No, I was actually. Th- it's funny. I was thinking about that the other day because I just signed up for a, a serious account, and I saw this in a prime country a lot for this podcast to like get different songs like oh this would be and i'll text you guys oh this would be a great one and like it does seem to be a theme in 90s country where it's just like yeah it's an old lady fucking a boy you know and uh no yeah, but like in retro if you're looking back in kind of uh awe of your like statutory it's only statutory if it's in the moment and like uh but if you're looking back and like oh my god that was such a good time that's not that's well that's a also good time. also if what? it's, <laughs> no, I think what I'm saying, if you're like, nostalgic, what is statutory really? I think, sex I think that what was... you mean is every time it happens and it's a boy fucking an older lady, everybody's like, what a great coming of age moment. That's right. not what he meant, but that's also a good that's I was trying to bail him out. <laughs> yeah, you're going to have to. I was saying, apparently. you're saying if you look back on it fondly as if an adult, you, yeah, then it wasn't yeah. rape. Yeah, yeah. And if it wasn't <laughs> rape, then it's a good, it's fine. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. hindsight's twenty twenty, even with crime. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's how much time you're going to get. <laughs> yeah. 
But it does There's seem two to... bangers in a row. Y'all are giving me nothing on. Fuck you guys for reading lyrics. Here we go. <laughs> I thought I was doing a thing. I know. You were. Okay. You said you were going to bail him out. I made a great bail him out joke. All right. Here we go. He was working through college on my grandpa's farm. So he's at least 19. Right. Well, I thought it was he was working for college. No. I'm reading these lyrics. Working through college. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. He's definitely 19 years old. But that means he could have come back at some point. Either. I think he was working for college. He was about to go off to college, and he's work. I was. He was so working for college. Now, no, I mean, he's, he's working, working towards through college. college. He's working through college. I mean, what does I it say it's right so, there? Okay, it says through. First of all, I always thought it was through, and that says through, okay, right? If so it's he's through, working through it's a college, college boy. Right, let me say something. If he's working through college, it means he's working all the way through college. But this is the last time she saw him. I don't, whoa, he was whoa, whoa, absolutely twenty. Wait a minute. I'm wait saying, a minute. I'm with you. We don't know. Uh, we'll get all the way through it, but this is like a this is a one summer thing. Yeah, necessarily could have been a a every ca- summer a few thing. Cards and letters. Well, yeah, and she was only seven. She call? was seventeen only. For I guess one part she could have left and never seen him again. Does she ever reveal her age? Seventeen. It's in the chorus. Right. Yeah. All right. Let's get let's Dude. get to it. And for the record. Too sharp. I don't can you pull this up on well. Spotify and just play the first few seconds? I want the fans. I think we can get away with this. Play the first few seconds. It's I want to hear this first. I think it's four. It's if through. he's nineteen and she's seventeen, I, is that that's fine? That's fine. Right? It's completely fine. It's called a Romeo. Love. If he's twenty-one and she's seventeen, it's fine. Of course. What the fuck are we doing here? I don't know. But it's not legal, Trey. Through. God damn it, you're right. Through. You're right. All right. You're right. Cut it because we'll get in trouble. Hold on. Wait a minute. So, put a little a twenty-one year old fucking a seventeen year old is illegal that ain't in cool. almost every state. I thought it was a four. I thought Romeo and Juliet was four years. Romeo and Juliet. I don't know what the number is, but a Romeo. I think it was sixteen and fourteen actually. But it doesn't matter what that is. They just call them all Romeo laws. They're different in every state. I, dude, this is the main reason <laughs> that I'm for like a big federal government. Year, a seventeen year old yeah. is. This far away from being a legal adult, a 21 year old uh-huh. can barely drink legally yeah. and is and, in, is and is my and in my eyes is also still a child. Sure. So, dude, if 21 and 17 is illegal, we need to fix these laws in this country. That's I what agree. I think. 21 and 17 Unless is fucking fine. Unless you look fine. back at it nostalgically, then it's fine. Is it? No, I'm saying it's this, always fine. Is this bit kind of like the? It's the implication bit. I don't know what you're doing, to Sean. He's just saying. saying I get what he's saying. Like, oh, this was. A I good get time. what he's saying. Rape he's saying when rape. you're grown and you're looking, we're if back. you're looking we back silly on it, like kids diddling yeah. each well, other. Yeah, well, Elvis well, married a 14 year old, and we're like, yeah. he ain't nothing but a hound dog. <laughs> like, I get it. It's yeah. different in hindsight. Well, also, if you're looking no, back on it, hindsight power. Dude, I understand what you're saying. Statutory of limitations, but. I do want to say, Trey, to your point, like, I think the left, this is a big thing, and, you know, if I get in trouble, whatever, cancel me, baby. The left, is starting, the left is starting to infantilize people when it comes to sex, and it's very weird. I agree. you even have people being like, an 18-year-old's fucking a 40-year-old? He's disgusting. He might be disgusting, but that's none of your business. Well, like, we, okay, to go further on that, like, we definitely, there's a, I'm just saying, there's a lot of 17-year-olds with guns that we want to try as adults. And if we're going to do that, then, like, they can fuck a 21-year-old, Yeah, in yeah. my opinion. If you're supposed to know what murder is, you should be able to know what consent is. I'm not saying is. either one of those is right. I'm just saying that if you're going, like, this 17-year-old knows better than to fucking shoot someone, then it's like, well, then he can fuck his fucking professor. I don't know. Well, like, goddamn, like, I didn't want to get stop? into this part of the song this quickly. Am but, I getting canceled? But she opens with, he was working through college. It, I'm saying... Just hear me out on this. I think it has to be his next to last year because she clearly never saw him again. The only other way I could, it makes sense is if she left at 18. So he keeps coming back to work through college. But there's she don't a lot of, I think there's a lot of, I don't know about a lot, but there's scenarios I could think of that don't fit any of that. He could be, he could have come to college wherever around where she lives. She's somewhere around UT Martin. That's fucking farmy, sure. right? Sure, it's real he farmy. came to college at UT Martin. And he's working there that at summer. Farm. He's at her grandpa's farm. He fucks his granddaughter. He fucks the farmer's granddaughter, which no, we've hits. all yeah. been there. Right. Yeah, fucks the farmer's granddaughter, okay. which hits. 
He goes back to college at yes. UT Martin. Then he fucks back off to North well, Carolina. Don't go or whatever. Work there. Hold on. Go work there. Yeah, right. All we I'm have saying. is the lyrics right. of the song, and boys, he was working through college. That what I just said is still working through no, college. That's working yes, during it is. College, not through it. Through it means all the way through it. He I, was working uh, through. I mean, she don't have to know what happened to him after that. She knows it's like the why are you here? Because I'm at UT Martin. And I need a summer job. No, I'm working through college. And You're then he's gone guys. forever after that. Yeah. She don't know what happened. I, I, I'm saying that I'm a literalist, and the song literally says he was working through college. A literalist. Yep. That's, that's <laughs> my favorite political part. I'm a, I'm a literalist, guys. It's so, a constitution uh, thing. Yeah, don't All worry right, about it. All right, here me. we go. I was working through college. He was working through college on my grandpa's farm. I was thirsting for knowledge. What a great line. And he had a car. Even better one, arguably. Yep. That's I a, was, it's a fucking wonderful song. By the way, we're getting right back into stat rape. Yeah. I was caught somewhere between a woman and a child. <laughs> when one restless summer we it's found not that love. It's not that weird. It's not no. weird. I feel like it's not weird. we're all making this weirder than it I don't should think be it's right weird, now. weird, but I do think it's a crime. I think he was 21. It's not a fucking crime. 21 to 17 is a crime in most states. Unless it's nostalgic. He, <laughs> he, he, <laughs> Drew means... Literally, you mean ort be, and I'm with you. It ought not be. I How many not people? Want to fuck a seventeen year old. You're fucking. You're fucking <laughs> thirty five years old. I know. That's you're thirty five. You, that's love. different. But in the eyes of the law, me and a twenty one year old are the fucking same. But but no, that's what that's what the fucking Romeo laws. Are. I remember when I was in high. Because here's the thing, we all did. We all we all. Grew up in places where fucking dudes graduate high school. I fucked a 17 year old. Hold, hold on. Where dudes, dudes. I should not say. Dudes graduate high hey, school. Hey, was it nostalgic? <laughs> it was. Dudes. It's, it's fine then. Dudes graduate high school and they <laughs> stuck around to keep fucking the high school girls. It's a thing. Everybody knows it. So I'm saying. Yeah. Trey like, was their lawyer. He was so, their lawyer. So four years. Romeo laws or whatever were a thing that yes, came up are. a You're lot, I feel Wooderson like. In fucking, uh, yes, I am. I know. We all went to school. We all grew up in a town with Wooderson's in it. Trey, and I'm, I'm saying. About Romeo laws. They're not all the same, though. That's fine. You don't know what the fucking Romeo laws were here. I don't. I'm saying this is could be a crime. Probably was. She's 17. She's going into her senior year of high school. She's going to turn 18 in six months. Yep. Six to nine months. I will also say No, actually, actually three to nine months. I will months. also say 17 is the age of consent in a lot of places. Absolutely. Right. Like so strawberry like crime. Right. So <laughs> I just, why do we got to make this rape? Statutory. Why do we have? We don't it have to make it statutory. Like right? Two states. I it, don't know what to no. say to you. That ain't my fault. Yes. It, it, we literally don't. Yes. We it don't. Depend. No. Drew. No. Listen. No. All Drew. We has, don't have to focus on, on the rape. Hold on, hold on, I don't, hold on, it ain't got to be rape. Hold on, hold on, I don't even want to do this. We've been talking about rape all this whole Drew, time. Let's not do this podcast. All, no, no, hold on. All Drew has literally said the whole time is. I'm not saying this is my opinion. I'm just telling you what the law is, which is what a lawyer does, which I respect. For the record. Am I wrong? Your Honor. I, that's how I feel. All Drew has said is, uh, Drew has said, I think everyone should fuck 17-year-olds. But. Multiple times. He said, said it, it and I want you to but, do but it. But you go to a state where they but condone it. in some a state. nostalgia state. Yeah, yeah in, in a nostalgia, state. nostalgia state. Right. That's all. And I agree with Drew. He's not saying that it should be wrong. He's saying that it is. Illegal. Illegal. I've had people. Yeah. I've had people. I think lives that's ruined. very debatable. It's not fucking debatable. I'm a goddamn defense lawyer. Yeah. I've had this fucking case. Jesus fucking Christ. You've had this case. Yes. A 21 year old and a 17 year old. No, a 15 and a 19 year old. That's it's the different. Same. 15 is different. That's how is it different. different? It's only different in a state. They can't even shut have the a- fuck up. I'll tell you how it's different. I was on your team. Well, then I don't care. The only way it's different is if you're in a state where 15 is not the age of consent, but 17 is. But if you're in a state where 18 is the age of consent and the Romeo laws are only two years, you will be royally fucked. No, I'm 17 and I'm fucked. I mean, you're going to goddamn adult prison fuck. I believe when the royals fuck you, it's. No matter what age, you can do it. That's true. Yeah. So Magna Carta said, without a doubt. Yeah. So <laughs> all. <laughs> <laughs> all of you are going to jail. No, I was on your fucking team. And also, fifteen is different because fifteen, like fifteen, you, is different. 15, because, but we're talking about law. When you're fifteen, you have not your daddy steps. in the car when you drive. You know what I mean? Like, it's a different... Like, Do you remember the guy who was going to go play, I think, at Georgia? He was a cornerback. There was a one-year difference. Yeah. 
Well, we should let them all play football. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? But like, as long as they can play, don't yeah. fuck their butts when they get there. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's he fine. did eight years. These look like it, whatever. I no, I was fuck. on your team. I fucking brought this up because I was on your team. Anyways, second verse. Of the song. We literally haven't gotten song. to the first hook. Okay. The Magna Carta shit. <laughs> on the banks of a river, which, by the way, is where the Magna Carta was signed, on the banks of a river. <laughs> on the banks of a river on a well-beaten path, it's funny how those memories they last. Like strawberry wine and 17, the hot July moon saw everything. Now the moon's an accomplice. The to moon? Describe. Yeah, I was going to say, the moon... I the moon watch. might have just watched child we porn. We call your honor the moon. <laughs> <laughs> my first, my first. The moon's just like, I didn't see shit. All right. You know, I was hanging out on the dark side. I wasn't even full of that <laughs> night. <laughs> <laughs> my first taste of love, oh, bittersweet. Green on the vine like strawberry wine. We got to do the second verse. We got to move on. Uh, I still remember when 30 was old. Another great line. Great line. I cut like I dude. This song came out when we were kids, you know. And, and my, like I remember, I remember, I said, I remember my mama. My mama had this cassette tape. She had Ugh. Dana Carter. Did I shave my legs for this? It which, was by yellow, the way, the which was by yellow, the right? way, yes. That and by the way, fucking phenomenal name for an out. Like that song too. Like did Cletus, I shave my legs? Cletus T. Judd's first album was called "Did I Shave My Back for This" yeah. because of that, <laughs> but. Wonderful name for an album. We got to do that, that song. Context. It's very requested. Woman and, uh, Power, man. Is that but, not the album cover? Uh, no, that's the single cover. Okay. But anyway, my mom had that cassette tape. She played it in the car all the time. And there was a lot of other bangers on that song, by the or on that album, by the way. But uh, but yeah, this song. This one of my favorite nineties country songs, period. And it's um, top five for me. And uh, Do you remember this like, is maybe like this is at least a top ten, I think, for me yeah. song. Period. Yeah. <laughs> and it's I mean that. The, but 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 Do you remember like not being thirty and being like That's what I was about to say. Yes. That's that's I started this whole thing to get to a point where I would say I can remember my mom listening to this song or whatever, and I remember this line. And I remember in my head being like, "Yeah, that is what old. like that, is, that old. is thirty is super old. Yeah, like that's so old, you know. Yeah. And now I'm fucking thirty five, and it don't seem that old. What seems old to you now? Thirty isn't old at 80. all. Like eighty. Eighty. <laughs> what seems old to you, Tushar? Like fifty five. I agree. I think fifty five. I agree. Fifty five. Fifty five. You've seen the I've yeah. seen the horizon at the I've end. I've got a lot of. I've got a like. A lot of really good friends that I talk to all the time that are 55 and now they're comedians and 55 year old comedians don't act like 55 year old people. Oh my God. But like, if what? we have kids, that's how old I'm going to be when they, for the sure. First one. For sure. House. To me, well, 80, scared. to me, 80, like 55, and you were I'm like, you're, olds. I know, I know 55 year olds that I'm like, I don't consider you old at all. Like, that's fine. Like to me, 80 is old. 90 is decrepit. Yeah. You know, but it's changed I get a lot. what you mean. Dude. But I think it's in terms of like doing stuff and pain. And also, can I just do a quick aside? All Andy has heard being upstairs, Andy's upstairs, everybody, we're in the comedy con. Right, right, wrong. Is screaming yeah. about stuff. If race. they have a good time. And hold on. <laughs> and me just scream, we're adopting 10 year olds. So I remember at my grandpa's funeral, at my grandpa's funeral, and I still think this is like, a little whatever, but this very sweet lady at my grandpa's funeral, he was 69 years old when he died. Uh, nice, uh, nice, right? Uh, nice, 69, but my grandpa, was, my grandpa was 69 years old when he died, and this very sweet lady at my grandpa's funeral came up and was like giving me condolences or whatever, and she goes, well, you know what they say, only the good die young. That's what she said, and I, was, and I was like, I was 18 at the time, and I, of course I didn't say anything, but in my head I was like, that's the Not dumbest yet. fucking thing yeah. I've ever heard anybody say in my life. Uh, my dad, when he died, was uh, uh, he was born in fifty six. He died in two thousand thirteen. So was that fifty seven? Yeah, he was and that's young, that's young as shit. Now that you think about it, in that my dad terms, that's young yeah. as shit. Like my right. my that's dad, 64. my dad's both of his parents. Like when I was a kid, I remember them as nanny and poppy. 
They were fucking my grandparents, you know. They, they were died. fucking your grandparents? They fucked Danny them all the time. Were? Oh, dude. Wade? They, we talking about Wade? Oh, they bent them over a couch. Mm-hmm. There should be an upper limit to like, their for legal, legally. Like, you couldn't, my, shouldn't be able to fuck an 89 year old lady. My, my point papa is, used to say. Unless that, you're having a good time. My papa used to say that uh, they should shoot a man at 75, and he was like 80 when he said it. <laughs> my point is, is that they were my grandparents when I was, you know, five years old, and I remember both were, of them Were dying. they your grandparents before then? No. Okay. What about now? I didn't accept them then. <laughs> but they died, and of course, they were old to me then. Well, now both of my parents are 15 years older than they were. When they died, and I don't really consider my... I mean, I consider my parents old in the sense of, like, what they believe. People do look better. But, like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I, I listen to what my dad says, and I go, you're fucking old. But, like, his old age, I'm like... people look better, though, now. They do. And, and it's partially, like, getting work done, but it's also, like, eating it's better, because, not smoking. And because our pants fit better now. Yep. We wear different pants and shirts. Mm-hmm. I will say, though... I wish we had mama, a Cuts clothing yeah. ad that we could throw to fashion. right now, but it's so true, like... We uh, eat uh, kratom. It, well, it's just so true that like now, <laughs> like we just crap. decided a couple years ago, we're like, hey, you know what? Pants should fit. Here's the and thing everybody's like, damn, we look better, don't we? Here's the thing about old people. My mama lost a bunch of weight and then aged five to ten years because the wrinkles. Because the wrinkles. Yeah, the plump ones. When my granny, ones. my granny Bane, she was fat as fuck. When she was 85, and we were just like, God damn it, she just ain't ever aging. And yeah. then she started losing weight because of her age. Menopause. And we were like, when God, hits. fucking damn, this bitch looks old as fuck. And then she died. Your I granny still- was eight, fat as fuck at 85. Yep. Uh-huh. And That's a good run. It's a great run. That's a good All right, here we go. Great run. Being fat as fuck at 85 is an accomplishment. And I say fat as fuck, I mean... No, she was fat as fuck. Like she was, a, <laughs> she was like probably the fattest eighty-five year old that. You've yeah, ever dude. Seen. I'm about to say I don't like. I'm thinking about my you, my meemaw's eighty-three. I would go. She to is this big, dog. No, she weighs forty-eight my granny, pounds my or whatever. Was the fucking fattest eighty-five year old bitch that's ever lived. Like, I still remember when thirty was old. My biggest fear was September <laughs> when he had to go. A few. That's the reason he didn't live in her town. He had to go. A few cards. Yeah, and he letters. had a warrant. <laughs> and one long, a, few, a few cards and letters and one long distance call. We drifted away like the leaves in the fall. That's a pretty good line. But year after year, I come back to this place just to remember the taste. Now that statutory rain. God damn it. Seventeen. You know what? The only reason I was arguing so hard is because, like, it technically could be in a lot of places. But like, that's not what this song is about. Of course, he was definitely nineteen. Yeah, like he definitely. Was. I want him to fuck this girl. See, this is what I was mad about the whole time. I know. I was on your side. We know. He said that to both of us three times. I was on yeah. your side. He, he excels at that. He excels at that. I was just remember the what I said. What a shot. What, 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 <laughs> <laughs> what incarnation. What reincarnation. Reincarnation. Oh, man. Uh, sorry. I just did a callback to a different episode of a different podcast. <laughs> right. Don't worry about it. Hot July moon, saw everything. My first taste of love, oh bittersweet. Green on the vine, like strawberry wine. Now, what is green on the vine? I thought it's that a, was young. It's an unripe fruit. Which young. Is young which she's is very young. A young, and he's just like, ah. Get, me get into the botany criminal law of that. This what? is literally you cut that out. You, you're allowed to fuck a watermelon. This somebody. is the country <laughs> music version of because you're going to ask this question. I've got yeah, it for you already. Yeah, thank you. Thank Wet you. dreams by J Cole. Yeah, that's what. <laughs> it's true. It is true. It's it's literally what it is. It's, it's the true. female country mm-hmm. farmer's granddaughter version of Wet Dreams. That's all this song is. Yeah, and and if anybody is not familiar yes. with that one, in that song, J Cole's in high school, and so is the girl. Um. Then we got the hook or the bridge, I should say. It's a great bridge. What? The fields have grown over now. The music changed. Oh, yeah. There. It is the bridge. That is the bridge. Oh, Years so. since oh, they've oh, seen the plow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Read it, baby. Where, where's it Years at? since they've seen. There's the nothing fields time. Have grown over now. Years since they've seen the plow. There's nothing that time hasn't touched. Shh, shh. Re- <laughs> is it really him or the loss of my innocence? I've been missing so much. Yeah. yeah. Sing it like Jodeci, but yeah. still great. Um, <laughs> no. I, the music changed. I think put it in a minor key. I think it's worth, look, we've gotten way into the weeds talking about statutory rape. Let's get back to the artistry here. That music change, that key change is incredible, in my opinion. 
That was great. Because both melodies are fucking bangers. The melody of Strawberry Wine is an earworm. It's awesome. The rhythm of that song is great. Well, they hit that. They hit that. Here's the thing about music that a lot of people don't understand. It's, okay. Here we go. I'm just saying. The I di- love when Cho gets Stare into. Stare into the camera. Whenever Cho gets into things other people don't understand mode. Uh-huh. And they're that's, all, when, they're that's when things in. start to hit. Yeah. Here's the thing. Look into the. My, the phone's over by my boot. Look into my boot. People don't understand the dynamics of music, okay? And here's the dynamics of music, is that often the absence of sound is actually more powerful than sound itself. Do you understand? Mm. That so sounds like the dynamics When of she music. says, the loss of my innocence, and then it fucking the beat drops. drops. And she goes, and then what the fuck does she say? I've been missing so much. I've been, I've missing, been so much. missing so much. It sets when up. you hit that dramatic drop, it brings people the fuck in. And that's what people don't understand about dynamic music. It's why a lot of people can't connect to metal, because metal is just the entire time, and there's no dynamic sound. Dynamic sound not requires... True. False. A lot, I said a lot of people, not me and you. I, okay. I, I, connect to, I connect to metal. But what I'm saying is, dynamic sound requires the absence of sound. Okay, and the absence of sound in the hook drop here absolutely makes this more powerful because it makes you lean in for a second and go, did this fucking song stop? And then boom. That's the dynamic of music that country music hits so hard. Well, that was informative and entertaining. It's true. Uh, buddy. This song is very hummable, too, which is why it's, it's so That's what I'm talking about with the melody, yeah, man. Yeah. yeah it's it's really it, and one. both of them are. The, the, new, the key change with the bridge is also hummable. All right. We have, we're eating through our fucking lyrics. Let's go back a little bit. Let's go back to the first verse. Let's talk a little bit about this story and the setup of it. It's on her grandpa's farm. We made some uh, jokes about, you know, fucking the farmer's daughter. Her grandpa, or by the way, an ableist <laughs> of all this. Okay. Yeah, yeah. He, you mean he allowed an Enabler? An enabler. What did I say? Uh, an ableist, which is somebody which who is, uh, d- uh, is, is, like, is like, oh, prejudice towards disabled Prejudice people. towards yeah. cripples. Get that wheelchair out of here. He probably was Sorry. that too. <laughs> Sorry. I- <laughs> That's quite literally true. <laughs> Get that wheelchair out of here. Get her! <laughs> yeah. Okay, oh, all right, that, my bad. That <laughs> murdered me. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I, I'm not sure me and you were laughing at the same thing. No. Um, <laughs> no. No, I just, I was wrong in the moment that you were doing what you were doing. Uh, so that's all that happened. I'm trying to think of what I could make an analogy to. Trace did the equivalent of it means he was sexist towards cunts. Yeah, right. right. Yeah, <laughs> yes. yeah, 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 yeah. That's okay. Fair. Which he would have been. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. So this guy's working on her grandpa's farm. She's kind of a rich girl, and he's clearly not. I think we've got that old dynamic of rich girl, poor guy. Because if he's working on a farm to get through college, he don't have money for college. He's not there on scholarship. He's a he's Mexican. A, he's a very. Rich yeah, <laughs> No, 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 no. They don't go to college. Also, if he was a Mexican, whatever. If he was a Mexican, this definitely would be about statutory rape. All right, it's like he would definitely be in jail right now. Ooh, so he's not Mexican. Wow. <laughs> what? Oh, you mean the, the family wouldn't let him get away with it? Absolutely yeah. not. I very wife. thought you meant if this was a Mexican, he definitely would have statutory <laughs> rights. No, somebody. I meant that a white 21 year old can fuck a 17 year old, no problem, but a white. As long as they have a good time. Mexican 21 year old, they would have said some shit. His grandpa would have said some shit. Her, grandpa. His, yeah. Her grandpa. His grandpa would have said, oh, delay. Yeah, dude, but, uh, he hates uh, cripples. <laughs> Why would he not say yes. anything about fucking Mexicans? Mexicans let alone, dude. You Mexicans said. go to college. <laughs> <laughs> I do. said they didn't. I'm qualifying. I'm they clarifying do. now no, that they, they do. do. They go they to go. college. Oh, I'm just joking. Man. Uh, I hope Dina Carter listens to this. Um, Honestly, I hope nobody listens to this. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're putting it out on New Year's Eve. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm at a loss for words. All right, he was working through college, working through college on my grandpa's farm. I was thirsting for knowledge, and he had a car. Perfect. I, it's a perfect line. Perfect. It's so great. I was thir- just, and he had a car because it's That's so it. perfect. It's, 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 it's like you, the, 
to, to get to pussy? that girl at that yeah having a badass car it's like that's that. fucking go that's back to, it go back to what you're talking about with and we, everyone in a small town especially from our era remembers this I, I even have told jokes about a teacher who did this where he married a girl right after she graduated and was like y'all didn't start dating yesterday Everyone had those older dudes dating those younger girls. That was their way out. Even if it was just to one town over to watch a movie. He had there's a nothing. Car. Yes. He had a ticket to get out of here. Yes. Yes. I am black, but everybody thought I was a man. <laughs> <laughs> so listen, listen. You've really hit invoking that song. And I can't even follow up on this, but I think that song... Is about some like real, real, yeah. real heavy Hardcore shit. shit yeah. yeah, right. Yeah. So it hits what, we're out of so what you just style. did, yeah. trivializing it in that way. That really hit for me. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, we besmirched. <laughs> We've besmirched Dina Carter. Now we've included Tracy, Tracy Chapman. Chapman. Oh, dude. Again, we're about to get canceled, which means put a down payment on that boat. Oh, just throwing it all on the pile tonight, baby. <laughs> well, all I was trying to say is that however people feel about this song, I think it certainly captures a truth about young love and losing your innocence and all that. Like, there is... Look, dude, obviously it's gross if a 30-year-old is fucking high school kids. Sure. But, like, when you're in high school, guy and girl, girl style, shut man. God damn it. <laughs> Thank you. Man. I know. When you're in high school, though, there is something, like, you know, obviously intriguing about the older people. Yeah. Or just, like, doing cooler things. Yeah. Drinking. Strawberry wine. Yeah. Damn, he got her drunk, too. Fuck. Yeah. Yeah. I think Predators, when you're... Bro. Bad look. I think when you're, like, a dumbass high school kid, a 20-year-old... Seems like the most mature, cool person. Some, yeah, right. Somebody right. that's like just better right. than the dipshits than the dipshits that you're surrounded with. And obviously, when you're in your 30s and you look back on it, you're like, they're not. Honestly, a 20 year old is not any better than a 17 year old or whatever. But when you're 17, worse if they're interested, absolutely. In but, right. But when you're 17, it feels the Dude, opposite. Even in high you know? school, that like it doesn't even have to be that old. Like when you were a fucking freshman. A sophomore, a fucking junior, just someone who's been in high school a little bit longer than you, you're like, oh my God, they're Andy! They're. Andy! Handy. Handy. She must be asleep. I didn't want to put her too much on front street, but when she was like 16 or 17, she had a 20 year old boyfriend, so I wanted to make her come talk about this. Dude, I my, my, my sister. Andy! I don't want to put, I don't want to put her on blast like this, but my sister did too, and at the time. A bad time in your life. <laughs> Andy, remember when you used to fuck all them old dudes? Hey, didn't you? Have but to... did you have a good time? Have... We're gonna finally have a woman on our podcast. <laughs> <laughs> didn't, didn't you? Didn't you have a boyfriend when you were in high school who wasn't in high school and he had a real fast car? Yeah, he had a high ass car. He had a Corvette. He had a Hell Corvette. How old were you? Uh, I was, well, 16 the first time, and then, <laughs> and then he was run off by my Manage family, and then, uh, well, by my brothers, I think, and then he came back when I was 18. <laughs> I'll put it on layaway. layaway. Uh, <laughs> laid away. Put the uh, pussy on layaway. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> Did you ever drink strawberry wine with this man? No. All right. What we're talking about the song, and we've had we didn't even mean to get into it in the beginning, but we've had a lot of discussion <laughs> about the age gap and the you know he was in college and all that stuff. Do you feel like you were mature enough to date that guy at sixteen? Mm. He been working at a convenience store. I mean, <laughs> probably not. No. Wait how how old was the dude though? He was 24. Yeah, oh, okay. shit, I thought he was 20. Uh, yeah, oh, my 20, God. 24 Damn. and 16 is so a whole different story, up. though. That has nothing to do with this song. Now we're on the first 48. Yeah. <laughs> <Every podcast. laughs> Baby, you're a victim. He was really hot. But you, you had a good time, though. <laughs> and also, I don't know if you heard, but Corvette, Drew. I did not have sex with him. Uh, okay, so, prude. but to Tushar's whole point, like... You're, you know, you're in your 30s now. 
thinking back on when you were 16 and you met him and he's 24 and he had a really fast car. Mm-hmm. Did it hit? How? Right. How do you yeah. now? When how, you look back <laughs> at yes, it. Yeah, did See? it. See? <laughs> so it's fine. <laughs> He had a Corvette, and he was really hot. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah, that's right. Right. Well, there you go. <laughs> now, I will say, just to the point of him being 24, it is weird that, like, why did he have to get a 16-year-old if he was hot? Because he, no, he could. Because he wanted to. fuck that guy. Because I'm awesome. Yes, sure. But, <laughs> right. But I'm saying, <laughs> you know, but. Yeah, it's kind of yeah, right. I'm yeah, saying, I, like, for, I definitely thought this dude was 20 for some no, reason see, every time we paid, talked about it. you this. thought that when, he well, it was could. was like 22 and then 20. Okay, so 22, 22 the, the first, first time. time still that's weird. still, yeah, but that ain't you thought the same as 24 when you're 16. Be someone. Be someone. Be someone. Corey's trying to make this whole podcast. Corey's podcast. really <laughs> attached to this Tracy Chapman thing he's doing. He's got this Tracy Chapman bit going. He's really married to it. So. <laughs> All right, let's talk about the song since we got you here. You love Strawberry Wine, yes? Yeah. Uh. What was I going to say? Oh, does it remind you of that guy? I shouldn't ask that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but it will now, probably. <laughs> you ruined both their memories. How do you it. feel about the hot July moon seeing everything, making the moon an accomplice to this? That rules. Hell yeah, it rules. <laughs> sex she loves the, the moon. Yeah. Not the sex. Moon does hit. Well, close to sex under close, the moonlight. Close to sex. <laughs> Close enough. So you, so this guy, this guy did commit crimes with you. Okay. Like, <laughs> 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 sure, one, one or two. two. <laughs> but, hey, hold on. We want to. You didn't commit the crimes, my love. I, well, it's just you know, you guys called me down from upstairs and just threw me into this conversation. <laughs> well, you, you are welcome to walk away. I apologize. It's okay. I'm just being funny. Um, so yeah, just technically he did. <laughs> <laughs> he yeah, I did I some just stuff. Be clear. I want to be clear to everyone out there listening. You don't have to say technically. This dude. <laughs> he Explicitly. He did. He did commit crimes, huh? Actually, I don't know what the age of consent is in Tennessee, especially in what, 2002? Uh, Got pretty screamy earlier to not know the laws. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wasn't. A- <laughs> I mean, I don't understand what that means. But you yeah. think the sex laws was the same in the 60s as they were in 2010? Andy was in the 60s? In the 60s? Andy no. was 16 in the 60s? She was 16 in 2002. I don't know what the fucking laws are. You guys know they change them every year, right? Yes. Okay, you think they don't change sex laws? You just said Elvis married a 14-year-old. You think that'd fly in 2010? If it was Elvis, yes, I do. No, it fucking wouldn't. You have to go to Epstein Island, which he probably would have. Of God course. damn it. Of You've ruined fucking Elvis, Tracy Chapman, and Dina Carter for me. Yeah. It's a hard podcast. So, Andy, this guy's dick. (laughs) (laughs) Anyways. Did you hear what he said? What? I just... I brought up his dick. His winner. I was going to ask how fast it was. His Corvette. Yeah. But I meant his penis. I actually didn't even want to follow it. I was just hitting at the time. (laughs) I apologize. (laughs) I probably ain't putting this one out. Let's be honest. No, dude, this one is fire. Are you kidding me? The best one. I was just trying to hit. Andy, Um, was it very. So Paige had a deal like that too when I when no she shit. was like, yeah I know right <laughs> yeah. and that's the thing I've thought back on as I've gotten older being like man that was like that His was daddy fuck. had a bobcat right, right? but like, but at the time but I'm saying as her older brother he didn't hit for me because I was her older brother no but, shit but but like. Not in the way that looking back on it now, right. it should have. If right. that it makes like sense. He's too old. It was like yeah, right. Well, no, I, like I knew he. Retarded. I knew he was like. I knew he was like two. <laughs> God damn it, Corey. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's oh, the. Yeah, that's oh, the that thing. I'm that's sorry, the I thing. I shouldn't have fucking said that. You're right, but fuck. Oh, Drew, this episode hits. Uh, <laughs> no, I just didn't. It didn't hit for me at the time, but I'm saying as a thirty. I get, it, bit, I get it. I get it. Looking back on it, I'm like, Curry man, I'm like, I'm like, man, that guy was a fucking dude, borderline predator. Curry like that no shit, was, that shit was fucked up, you know. I but thought I, you said he was twenty. No, no, he was like, he was like 
24, 23, 24, hey, or something like hey, that. Hey, tell them your friend. You don't have to say her name. Tell them your friend's predator's name. What? Your friend's predator? <laughs> say it. Oh. What's his name? Tell it up. Say it. Say his name. Dinky. <laughs> Name. Seventeen. Ooh, a hot baloney sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> My name's Dinky. First name's love. Oh, wintergreen. <laughs> oh, so fuck. Dinky was the guy just cutting them all down, fucking. Dinky, <laughs> and I said, Dinky. Just one. Uh, just one. one. <laughs> I'm not gonna say the word I said earlier, but. There's no way. <laughs> Dinky? Yeah. Inky. How fast was his car? Yeah, no or how big close. was his it's, truck? It was yeah. faster than him. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Dinky. Uh, well, you want to read the lyrics? Let's get back into it. All we've, not even gone through the lyrics. We have. A little bit. Yeah, yeah. The, the fields have grown over now, years since they've seen the plow. There's nothing time hasn't touched. True. Is it really him or the loss of my innocence yep. I've been missing so much? And then it's just then it's just the, the, the chorus again. Like strawberry wine and 17, the hot July moon saw everything. My first taste of love, whoa, bittersweet. What's the bitter? Just because she got sad with the letters and the I cards? think it's the statutory <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Like, I think she's looking back on it like, I mean, that dick was fucking fire, but like, I, I can't tell it. nobody or he's going to go to jail. You know what I mean? It's because of her heartbreak. Yes. Right. I agree with Andy. I agree with Andy, actually. No. Well, yeah. I think he wasn't a, he well. wasn't a gentleman, didn't stick around for two years. <laughs> yeah. He never came back. Yeah. Yeah. It's bittersweet because she it was yeah, fucking hard and long and right. fast and, and deep, and, he didn't and then it was gone back. forever. Yeah, and then he didn't. And that back. makes it bittersweet. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Well, I still think it was seventeen and nineteen, but you know. Well, it says he went to college. Well, it says we got into this. He was working through college. Uh, what, what do you think that, that means? Through college. Well, yeah, that's like a summer break from college. That's true. But there's at least three, if not four, summer breaks from college, which is what I was saying earlier. I mean, Corey had like seven. And he didn't go. I, so look. So I listen. Had a boyfriend who was in college when I was in high school too. So I. She's am a I a predator? She's a collector. Like, she's, a, she's a predator collector. <laughs> what was the age difference? How old what was, was that guy? Um, well, we started dating when I was. Like 16, 17, <laughs> and then... How old was he at that time? Uh, he started college when I was like 16. So he was 18. Yeah. Yeah, right. So, but, but, so I worked the summer before college and my first summer in college, I worked at the Clay County Highway Department, right? Where that guy told you about fucking cows. Yes. Yeah. Walter. Old Walter. He loved to fuck cows. Anyway. He was Waltarded. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway what i'm saying is but then i didn't but then i kept going to college whatever but i did not keep working there and i also left salina which is where that job was at do you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. but I, so i'm saying there are situations like that I agree. where it could fit what she's saying, yes. but he could also be 19 I, or whatever. I want to not talk about statutory rape on the 90s country podcast ever again. I'm sure we'll have to, though, because of this fucking genre and the reality. And the reality, you know, like Andy's talking about, you know, like, I, I don't know. I was sitting there thinking about it and I was like, you know what? If you're in town working on a farm and it's like 17, 19, that's not a big difference. But, but you, this man. He was like going to class and shit. He was going to frat parties, then coming back home to you. Not a lot of That's women's weird. studies classes, I'd say, he was going to. No. You know what I mean? No. I don't so know, Andy, man. Like, well, since we got Andy here, because we were talking about it earlier. Speak for all women. Make, yeah, make all this Speak good. for all women. No, but she, she grew up in a small town like we all did. And it's very popular and common in these small towns for the girls that are in high school like you were. Date the dudes that are out of high school, whether they're in college or they're just still in town. Simply have a but car. Simply have a car. <laughs> yeah. What's, uh, we were saying, is it because when you're 16, you're around 16 year old boys, they seem like dipshits, but a 20 year old boy seems like more of a grown man or something or like what? Like they got more game. Why? Yeah. Drugs, what, 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 cars. Why is that? Well, I mean, I had a lot of friends who dated 
guys our age, but I guess, yeah, for some of us that did that, I guess it was, you were sick of the guys around. Weren't you cooler too? Su- super immature. We were more imma- more mature than them. And for me, I just wanted any kind of thing that made me feel like I was getting out of my hometown. That's right. what we say. Recurring theme. Out. And yeah. I think that that's, yeah, they prey on that. You know what I mean, right? And they're just, if they're 20, they're just dumb. They can't get yeah. a 20-year-old girl to date them. Yeah. They have to go get a 16-year-old to date them. Yeah. That's why Wooderson yeah. did his fucking thing. He's like, I'm not, you Dude, know. I love Matthew McConaughey, and I'm glad they launched him from that. But m- casting McConaughey as Wooderson did make it weirder, because it's like, this dude can fuck anybody. He's he cool. He wants a right. Dude, but I felt like. Were the guys in your town that were like, that were Wooderson's, were they not kind of like that? The ones in my town that were like that, the ones in my town that were like that were like former quarterbacks. They were like guys who hit real hard in high school, but were still around. They weren't like, they weren't like losers in high school that were still there. It was guys that that hit high school that stuck around. So I felt like McConaughey as Wooderson totally checked out. I I agree. The 19 year old dude that used to be a loser in high school. Right, right, right. No, absolutely not. Oh, I agree with what you're saying. I'm saying it did make the character less likable. But in defense of those dudes, the dudes that were losers in high school, like, fucking went to college and figured it out and started fucking, like, way cooler chicks. You know what I'm saying? Like, all the band dudes that, like, those chicks never had anything to do that with. That was me. I was that guy. You weren't. but I like, absolutely fucking was. Yeah, chin strap played. We get it. But I'm saying like. Go fuck yourself, motherfucker. All I'm saying is. I, are you kidding me right now? Yeah, you weren't a loser in high school. You didn't go to college. <laughs> God damn. Both of those things are true. <laughs> By the way, we just learned a lot about ourselves. And, like, me and you have been friends for a long time, and I didn't realize you had that in you. You know what I mean? It's very you didn't think he had chin strap played in him? No, I didn't think he had, fuck you, you didn't go to college in you. Like, he's never done that. Yeah, me. but you were attacking. You mocked thought. the chin strap, no, which I played. Oh, no, all oh, I said was you weren't a loser in high school. That's what he was the saying. Shit was, I said was you weren't a loser in high school, and you go, okay. you were a loser after high school. <laughs> But he I thought, was fucking defending hold you. Hold on, but he did the whole time think you were saying he didn't get laid in college. Yes, that is okay, what I thought. Fair, that fair, is what I thought. Fair, so I didn't know all that. Bottle, I didn't know all that, and so yeah, I'm sorry. Yes, yeah, right. I was <laughs> on your fucking team, and you're like, oh, you fucking dipshit. Of course you had to fuck a 17-year-old, which I didn't, by the way. When I was 17, I did. Guys, I'm sorry for that. Guys, it's fine. I apologize I for that. I understand why you would say it, and it's true. I didn't go to college. Guys. When Andy and I first started hooking up, <laughs> guys, listen to this. This is pretty good. I just thought of this. When Andy and I this first is the best episode up, of this podcast that's ever that will existed. Never be released. <laughs> it's getting released. Listen, this is fire. From jail in 15 years. Fire. <laughs> listen to me, damn it. This is pretty good. Andy and I started dating when she was. A oh freshman. shit! I didn't hit record. That ain't true. Of course it's not. Go on. Oh well, thank you for. I that. did think that for a second totally that I didn't. It. By the way. Andy and I started hooking up when she was a freshman and I was a senior in college. Oh, now the age was... difference between us was probably more than the high school boyfriend. If you marry Andy, right. does have a thing for older men. Yeah, well, Clearly. if you marry him, you're out. That that's a law, right? You're the lawyer. Well, she was eighteen or nineteen when we. Started you can hooking marry up. a thirteen year old. Well, I was about to yeah. say, I was like, yeah, old. When she was that age, older men. But now, y'all are the same age. Well, we were only two and a half years Essentially, apart then. So. I'm just saying it's very funny to me that her, her string of men, like she just, you know, she kept going young, for the older. the youngest one. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it would hit. Man, y'all haven't even gotten to the fact that I bet every single one of us had a coach at our high school. Yes, we yep. talked about yes. that. Yep. <laughs> yes, yep. we talked yep. about yes. it. Uh, yep. and, a what? And, and Ours married, too. Not only that, Ours it was fucking, too. and not only that, it was just like fucking known and cool yeah. with, with everyone. everyone. Everybody's like, oh, yeah, coach, and uh, I didn't want to say this that. This one coach turned this one girl who was so nervous during speech class that she puked on herself. Yeah. Four years later, she is a stripper who works in the daytime at Hooters <laughs> because this coach fucking turned her into that. The fucking oh one, God. the one at Katie, yeah. the that one at, created a career. The one at Katie's high school 
is the local congressman now. <laughs> okay. The state, state, state level, so but state she's congressman. A congressman's wife. So I, yeah, the one right. for her. The one at our fucking high school. She's a real life fancy. The one at our high school was the one that told that fucking what word do you say? Yes. When, <laughs> please find it. Please. Let's start getting yeah. careful with the word yeah, choices. Corey, now's at the this time part. worry about the words you use. He told that boy whose brain didn't hit. <laughs> <laughs> Wonder what word he was trying to avoid saying there. <laughs> brain that boy hit. whose brain didn't hit. My God. Like, <laughs> what were you maybe thinking of, Joe? <laughs> <laughs> Corey about to stroke out. <laughs> Corey's, trying, Corey's turned into that boy who burned in there. He didn't go to college. That's what happens. He's the one that's all. He's the one that's all. He's the one that's all. He told him to keep fucking his rabbits. Corey's falling apart on the stand right now. Corey Just into a million Corey had pieces. A kid in school who used to like rabbits a lot. He loved, he loved rabbits. He loved, and his brain didn't hit. And the coach told him. He said, well, he said why don't you go fuck your rabbits then? <laughs> <laughs> and he got the coach. I'm fucking crying. And the coach got in trouble for saying all that shit. Well, that coach also used to fuck a lot of girls in the fucking hot tub that we used to, like, make our legs hit once, you know, after a game. <laughs> like a whirlpool bath. The whirlpool bath. We would fucking to come in there. our he legs be hit. He would be fucking, <laughs> <laughs> he would be fucking cheerleaders in him. And we would also be like, yeah, the fucking coach. And he fucks cheerleaders in there. And then he told that fucking retarded <laughs> Anyways, now, <laughs> now, oh my now, god! Now he has Alzheimer's and drools on himself at the fucking meeting three. The coach does. The coach does. Which yeah. hits? It does hit. Because he shouldn't have done none of that. <laughs> there's, there's fucking, ju- there's, there's justice in the world. Is the point of this story? I think. My fucking god. We all had that guy. We did. We just kids and everybody was just and like, called everybody the R word. Apparently, was, yeah, everybody was just like, I fucking he called he, the R word a rabbit fucker. He knows the West Coast offense. What are you gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna do? <laughs> like that's okay. Now, I, when I was in school, that there's the teacher slash coach there who like it was just openly talked about that he was fucking the. This these yeah. girls, mm-hmm. and it was like, and everybody knew it. And I don't like, I don't know if it was true, but I'm sure it probably was. I assume, but like, it was just everybody knew it, and everybody talked about it. And he kept coaching and teaching. They kept being in school. Nothing ever, sometimes ever, ever, just, ever got brought up about it. Dude, we had sometimes this one they would dude. just have to leave schools and go to a different one and fuck kids. We had this one dude who was like a permanent substitute, like like a lady was out for a long time, you know what I mean? And he became a coach, and he started doing that, and they got rid of him. And I remember I said to my coach, I was like, two of your assistants are, like, what? I, just tell me like what the difference is. And he was like, oh, whatever. And I asked my mom about it, and she said, Drew, I think, honestly, it's because he's a Yankee. And I think she was right. Like, that's where, the, that's where my people drew the line. We ain't yeah. letting Yankees fuck our women. No. Ours, our coach that was doing it, everybody knew he was dating one of the students. And then when she graduated and turned 18, they got married. That's what happened in my school. Aww. <laughs> so that's nostalgic, <laughs> too, Char. That's nostalgic. She looks time. back on it fondly. Well, my mom would defend that to her death because, you know, Aaron and Jason are happy. I think the... I think the one that's a congressman. A ass, I think dude, the I Wayne County it. one that's a congressman or whatever. I think it's also a situation like now, that. Now Jason I was think. Trey. Jason was twenty two, and Aaron was. I mean, I'll say his name is David Bird. He's a huge piece of shit. He fucking sucks. He's but a right? 
right? Yeah, he's a congressman. Yeah. So that's why. But yeah, he, he'll, he's going to do great. Yeah, kid, fucking piece of shit, David Byrd is. But anyway, well, um, let's, uh, I, I, let's go. Stand for knowledge. Brain. And he's getting brain. This song is ruined now. <laughs> no, yeah, song this. hits. It's harder. So we're going to write it or what? <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about the video, I guess. God damn, we didn't even talk about the video. Um, too sure. what do you think of the video? I skimmed through it because we, well, but it Ooh. seemed very like um, airy. Like it was a field and it was like an old couple. It was a, a very basic, couple. it was a very, very basic, basic video. Yeah, it was yeah, her yeah. first hit. Yeah, yeah. And they were trying very hard to like, you know, main, <laughs> well, maintain her image. <laughs> I remember this. This song got a lot of airtime. I remember yeah, like knowing lot. the song, song without hits. knowing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's write it. Um, too sure. Do you want to go first? We'll do. Uh, you know, I'll zero to three. I'll Earn give hearts. it. I'll give it three. Earnhouse just because of this conversation. Yeah, it's, and uh, she had a good time. You know, <laughs> Andy, making the song. <laughs> Andy, thank you for being our half guest. Uh, meaning half the show. You you count. I'm a three fifths guest. You're a half. Okay. <laughs> Well, <laughs> thank you, Tushar. <laughs> Would you like to rate it? What's the ratings? Of Zero to three, Earnhardt. You can do three fraction. You yeah, can do fractions too, if you want. She can't do fractions. She's Hell. <laughs> hates fractions. She does. It's true, That's I do true. hate fractions. She does hate them. I, yeah. Um, I mean, it's strawberry wine. I still give it a three. Yeah. yeah. I think I'm going with a three. It's, it's a three, three, dude. It's yeah. a three out of three Iron Hearts easily. Like, I mean, it's not even that what this song meant to me as a kid, which is like, I've, I said when we started this podcast, like, it's top five probably for me, nice country. I love it. But like, then when you break down the lyrics, it's like, I, I'll say this, like I said on the last podcast, Bob Dylan ain't done shit as good as that. It's, no, no, he definitely fucked he a fifteen-year-old. Yeah, de- <laughs> for sure. But lyrically, Bob Dylan ain't done anything. He's done stuff as good as that, but not better. He's done stuff as good as that, but not better. It's a three out of three fucking Iron Hearts easily. Man. Also, can I tell you? That's the hardest I've ever laughed in my whole life during. It was this very podcast. fun to watch. Very fun to watch. I so, fucking spit up. I thought you were gonna vomit. I said. <laughs> what spit up is. I said before we started that I'd give it two threes if I could. Yeah. Uh, and so this is, and so I'm gonna, I'm gonna be raving now. I'm gonna take us back. This goes back to when y'all bullied me on the last episode. Bullied. I'm sorry. Y'all oh can God. disagree all you want, and that's fine because it's subjective. But this is what I was trying to say. Neon Moon fucking super hits. It's super hits. It for me. It is not on the level of this song. This song is a higher level for me. So they, thus they can't both be three. I, That's I want saying. to give songs like this and Fancy a three. Well, then make a caveat to it. It's a three plus. Three. I tried. No, I tried no, last week didn't. to give it a yes. I fucking no, did. No, 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 and y'all were no, like, no, you no, fucking no, stupid no, pussy no, bitch. No, no, this I did not say the no, fucking song didn't no, hit. No, I did not say no, the no, fucking no. song didn't hit. <laughs> I'm saying I want to give this a three. Give it and a three. I'm giving it a three. I, I want. I, I'm giving it a fucking he's, six. He's I want to give it a six. There you go. Give it a six. See, it ought not have to be that way. Wait, but this is like when you take AP classes. Well, then we're gonna get to the end of this podcast, and no song can ever be a fucking three because. All right, hold on, hold on. No. The way you said it last no. week. Is Hold on. No, no, Hold no. On. The way you said no. it last week, the way you said it is you were like, when you kept saying for me, it was sounding like you were saying like, I like other songs more. And like, you can't, you can't do it that way because just because you like a song more, well, then there would only be one three. It would be your favorite one. I agree with that. You're right. But, That's but like, true. What I think That's you're saying true. is you don't think Neon Moon is as good of a song as this. However, you personally And this feel is about three. It. So and Neon Moon shouldn't be three. I very three. strongly feel that you're wrong about that, but Neon I get Moon's what you're three, saying. So sure. what do you give Neon Moon retroactively? What I was trying to give it at the time, which is like a 2.75, but Not y'all wouldn't have it. Not even a 2.9? All right. Sure, two point nine. Yeah, all right. we're getting a little, we're getting a little wishy washy here. I don't know what all these fractions mean, but yeah, like was I even gonna do? Let me say he don't know what fractions mean. Was I ever? Was yeah, I gonna do? Right. Was I gonna do more than point two five, point five, point seven five? I don't know. I don't know, Drew. <laughs> Who knows? Who I've knows? Never, Maybe well, I was. He has going been to. getting a little wishy washy with numbers. How can I in make a story nice podcast about country music not fun? My name's Trey Crowder. Let's do this show. I have absolutely smashed this episode <laughs> and most episodes of this podcast, I, just so not. you know. Okay. My hey, fucker didn't go to college like, talking to me about like numbers Trey, and shit. <laughs> 
Trey's looking back on smashing. It sounds like some nostalgia. This has been Bubba Shot the Podcast. We got to get out of here before we all get arrested. Thank you. Good night. Excuse. That's the hardest I've. I'm not. That's the best episode we've done. I don't care what nobody says. Bubba Shot the Podcast, and that's right. A show about country at its height. Don't expect no.